Howdy, Mech Warriors. Welcome back to Open Plays Mech Warrior 5. We're in the Legend of the Kestrel Lancers uh, main mission now on our two year contract to the Federated Sons. This is mission number three, Tikhanov, part three. So, and you can read this. And pause, go ahead and feel, feel free to read it all. We're going to take out the uh, mech, fac mech factory. Here we go. 255 tons, so we're moving up in the world. Um, we've got no way to put it on there, really. Let's take a look. And still doing 5 and 5. Keep in mind, if you were playing this as a straight go-through from the DLC start, you would more than likely um, be, what, level 5, level 4? I'm sorry, between level 5 and 7, so you wouldn't get 16 points, so this is kind of outrageous. I have 11 days, everything's going to be done. I got 5 tons I can play with, but I don't have another 65 tonner to throw into the mix. Nobody's got a negative. Let's take a look just to be sure. I don't think I have a 55 tonner or a 65 tonner. I could throw a Warhammer in there. I got a 65 here, but it ain't ready and will not be. Nope, nothing that squeezes in. Not an extra five pounds only. Rifleman's the same thing. Not going to happen. I think I'm going to knock out the uh, hunchback and take a warhammer instead. And I think that's going to take me over ten tons, right? It's got a 55, so that's not too bad. Whoops. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Yo, I thought I had another Warhammer in there. I do, the Black Widow, where's it at? There, 79, so that hits a whole lot harder. And includes an AMS. Oh, that's right, there's no ammo for the AMS or for the light rifle. So you got to discount their points. Nah, we'll just stick with what I got. And it's not painted. Dang it. It's always something. almost four minutes to get into a mission I've already selected and prepared and etc.
think I went the wrong way. I also don't think it matters all that much, but... Wouldn't let me come through here. Two heavies and an assault. Straight. You just target it and hit it. I got it. I got it. They're retreating from a vindicator. Isn't that special? One of the reasons I make sure every mech I build has a long range component of some type. Well, he just doesn't want to die, does he? Get in there and take it out. I think I should have brought the uh, hammer hand. The LBX-10 does almost as much damage as his gals and fires a lot faster. So, more hits per second. Let's get my lance through. Sure you are. Yep. 
missed. Got it. Can't shoot him. Can't do nothing about it. It's a trebuchet up here. Vitol still up there. Thank you. Who are we shooting? One of my guys down here, so. Yeah, that was the last one. Can't get it to jump into him. Or hammer, okay, hang on. There. Yeah, see what it did. It fell down here and was unable to do what I'm having a hard time doing. Here. Yeah. Nothing like turning a ten minute mission into a fifteen or well, it's already almost fifteen. And it's back down there again. Yep, it sure is. All the way down to the bottom. Again. If it does it again, I leave it. Sure, I get up here past it this time. All right. And they're all. 
all follow him. The dreams cluster around and banging off of each other. Sure. Next. If you haven't played this one or seen this one before, there are in fact mech repair bays on it. It's one of the few actual, well, it's not a campaign mission, is it? But, so, never mind. It's one of the few missions that, ha or non-coyote missions. That didn't help. Did I kill it? I guess I did. And the repair base. Yeah, there it is. I can tell pretty sure. But it's free repairs. What the hell? Okay, everybody stand right there. standing there, grinding. That one's in. Okay, might as well use that one. It's glowing green, that means I can use it. Get out. This is the problem when you have allies that like to follow you around and get in your way. left. Hmm. Warhammer with one little shot on the arm. Let's go. Get out the way, Mr. Atlas.
I'm not going to be staying in this mech. for a headlong charge and get this one over with. Couple of cataphracts. Big heads. Definite limitation on this mech. Well, I can get that. By itself, and I don't see a whole bunch of anything else, so might as well. I just convert that to cash. Lots of damage was done, not a lot of killing. Thunderbolt got the kills, huh? Wow, and the extra stuff is not bad. That's a freebie. I know playing the DLC as the DLC, that was a very welcome addition to my mech forces. Here, we're just going to hold it over that away for a while. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Probably not this either, but I want to get it repaired. So you can always tell how long you got for flight time, etc., until the next mission. By looking here, I'm going down. 64 days to do whatever you need. 87 till the next. Uh, yeah, Kelpie. Haven't heard from him. You can get training, but it's going to take you too long. I wouldn't mind doing that one. It lies to me every time. What did I get? Hmm, two points. Still, 19 is awesome. 
maxed. They're not maxed now, so if you don't train people that aren't maxed. You can, and they'll, they'll, they'll earn it, but not for 83 days. Moving on. We will go ahead and depart, and I'm going to put that on this mission, or the episode, because of this nice little video. Wave video. 3 of Operation Rat has begun. From here, the Crucis Lancers will divide and conquer a number of systems, securing our grip of the Tikhanov commonality. The second and third Crucis Lancers next assignment is to take the world of Tigris. Boasting one of the highest standards of living and well-educated populaces in all of the Capellan Confederation, Tigris has acted as a cultural center and brain trust of the Capellan state for centuries. Bringing Tigris to heel will consolidate the Federated Sun's might throughout the Terran Corridor, and further secure our hold of vital jump ship routes into the Lyran Commonwealth. Its conquest will also rob House Liao of a major population center containing some of the Capellan state's brightest minds and wealthiest families hampering the Confederation for generations. Given the system's wealth and nobility, House Liao has stationed significant defenses on Tigris. With only 2nd and 3rd battalions assigned to this invasion, we should expect to encounter stiff resistance to our occupation, as we will not be able to rely on the same amount of support that we received on Tikhanov. But always remember, the Lancers have already done what not even the Star League could do. We took the unconquerable world of Tikhanov. Compared to that, there is nothing that Tigris can throw at us that we haven't already faced before. Well, a nuclear bomb. But no, that's not in there either. How about insufficient forces? Two battalions. Wow. Cantina says, oh. Make sure everybody's done. Oh, by the way, we've never done this yet. The uh, mech market is pretty tight. So if you've got cash, and that's all you were fighting for last time, um, you've got like 3-4 million per episode saved up, you could buy yourself a Cyclops here. Several really good choices here. And weaponry. It's not garbage. Yeah, it's not garbage at all. Quite a bit of that I can use and upgrade. What is a PK PPC? Party kill, huh? seeing it. Heat's less than a regular PPC. I mean, that's a tier 5 doing 7. Here's a 7.6. But not seeing it. I got a feeling it's like a, a PPC X. Party kill being an allusion to a shotgun. Well, they got a lot of tier 1s. Anyway, leave them. Hmm. Still not seeing mobility stuff. Okay, folks, that's it for this episode of Open Plays Mac Warrior 1. Five. We are uh, still waiting to hear from you. Need some comments, likes, and subscribes. We'll see you at uh, Tigris here in the next episode. Hope is out.